Welcome to the Marvelous Designer New User Tips and Tricks series. In this series, we will cover troubleshooting methods for common issues you may encounter while working in Marvelous Designer. In this video, we will cover some troubleshooting methods to check if your imported avatar is too large. For these lessons, I will be using the default user settings under the settings option and a three button regular mouse. For importing your avatars, it is best to work in human scale with Marvelous Designer. The algorithm and cloth properties are dependent upon working in human scale, where the cloth reacts to gravity at the scale that it would in real life, or the definition, how humans interact with their environments based on their physical dimensions, capabilities, and limits. So a cloth example would be, if you have a small 50 millimeter square of fabric, it will not bend and wrinkle as much as a larger 50 millimeter square of cloth would, such as the nature of woven fibers, which are made at human scale and how they react with gravity. Or a simpler example would be to think how doll's clothes drape versus human-sized garments if they're made of the same cloth. This is why, compared to other softwares that work at relative scale, Marvelous Designer works best with avatars imported at human scale. So it is best practice to import your avatars at about 1200 millimeters to 2000 millimeters in height. Here's best practice. Measure your avatar if you're worried about it being too small. This will work for 9.5 and 10 and above. This is an option that you all have. Go to the avatar toolbar, go down to measurements, and you'll see height measure avatar. And you can use this tool to measure the highest point on your avatar, clicking the top of her head, and it'll bring up a little measurement here. This one says 1,856.7 millimeters. This is telling me that she is within the 1200 to 2000 millimeter height range, which is what I want. Now, for those of you with Marvelous Designer 10 and above, you have a second option. You can go to the select or move tool and you can select your imported avatar and then going to the property editor and down to specification, you can see the scale options. We have X, Y, and Z axes, and you can see on the Y axis, she is 1,875.7 millimeters tall. Here, I can also change her height, but I'm not going to be doing that. And this is a good way to check and make sure that your imported avatar is the correct scale if you are encountering problems or have this concern. So let's go ahead and bring in our too big of avatar. Import OBJ, too large. I'm going to import this first one at feet. It was already made to be too big. Sometimes you'll encounter a loading error and your avatar might not even load or it'll load very slowly. In this case, my avatar is far too big to even import, so it's causing an error with Marvelous Designer as I'm recording using my recording software. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. And I've just reopened Marvelous Designer. So let's go ahead and bring it in at one size below from that. Import OBJ to large avatar. Let's not do feet this time, let's do inches. This is one of the telltale signs that your avatar is not in a T-pose, if it's a human shape, or your avatar is either too small or too big. In this case, we know it's going to be too big, so I do not have any arrangement points on my avatar. And in my workspace, I can't see my avatar in the 3D window, nor can I see it in the 2D window. But if I zoom out, I can see the silhouette of her shoes. So let's see, using the hotkey 2, Okay, so this is uh, facing center front with the camera. Let's zoom out a little bit more. And we found her legs. She's in fact standing outside of the workspace grid that we should be working inside of. And scrolling up on the 2D window in the 2D workspace, oh, we finally found her head. So she's definitely too big for our workspace in general. So let's go ahead and import her at a smaller scale. Import OBJ to large. Let's not do inches, let's do centimeters. 
Again, arrangement points were not fit to the avatar because she is too big for my workspace. But she's fitting a little bit better now, as we can see. She's still very tall, and looking at the workspace, she's still standing outside of it, and her relative scale to the workspace is too big. She's far too large. I could try to start working in this, but it would be a lot of trouble because zooming as far out as I can, I, can, I can't see both of her hands at the same time. So let's go ahead and delete her and bring her in at the last size, too large. Let's bring her in at the correct too large scale, about 40,000 millimeters tall, which is still too large. Again, arrangement points not set. If I toggle them on, this is the original scale of the arrangement points, as I can see here. So she's still too big. Toggling this off, she does fit within the workspace and I could probably start working with her, but I would recommend you compare the indicators of your workspace, which are, she's far too tall for this grid. If I cycle around her using my hotkeys, using the two, six, eight, and four, I'm too far zoomed in on my avatar and I can't really see all of her. When I normally can using the number keys or the 10 key, which correlate to the arrangement around the five to the arrangement around the avatar. That's another indicator that she is far too large, as well as, again, if I turn on the arrangement points for the original size of the avatars, it's telling me that she's far too tall. But let's go ahead and start making some stuff on this too large of an avatar and find out some more of the signs that your avatar is too big. So let's go ahead and start making a garment for our avatar here. I'm going to just make a basic shirt holding control to use curve points, just making her a basic t-shirt, how I would normally pattern it. And then if I close this t-shirt and turn on mesh, it's a really dense mesh. Just toggling this on. This is 20 particle distance. Let me just straighten this out because it's gonna bother me. This is 20 particle distance. Number one, it would look pretty good. It looks pretty good now. This is too dense for it to be your base rough sculpting particle distance mesh. This is already an indicator here that this is far too large. As well as selecting my pattern and selecting the circumference. If I look at my selected line length, I can see that it is 3,597.2 millimeters. If I think this is too large, what I should do is compare it. If I'm worried about my scale here, I can compare it by importing one of the base shirts, making sure to select add into my workspace that fits our basic avatars. Selecting a shirt that should match. Number one, I can already see that the scale is incorrect. It should be much smaller, about 50% smaller. As well as if I check my line circumference, it's this one here is 1734.4, whereas this one that I've made for my too large of an avatar is nearly double that. This is another indicator for the 2D window and the patterning side that your garment is going to be too big for when you simulate. Another way to check if your avatar is too large is to, of course, import your avatar into the workspace. Add avatar, too large. I mean, loading it in feet scale. This was already made too large. I cannot see my workspace. If I use the two hot key, I still can't see. And if I rotate, I can see that she's there and she's far too large. In Marvelous Designer 10, if you can select your avatar, you can go to the property editor Go to specification and see the scale. This is at 10,000. This is indicating and telling me, aside from the visual, that it is too large for my workspace. So let's go ahead and finish making this shirt on her. And I can't use arrangement points right now, so I am just placing it around her in the 3D window, making sure to check my normals are facing in the correct direction. So I need to flip around 
this back pattern piece and I'm going to bring it closer to her torso and then create a sewing relationship using the segment sewing tool and I am just sewing them together in the 2D and the 3D window if I want. Now here I can already see that my, with Marvelous Designer, with the sewing relationship lines, these are far more dense than any other sewing relation li lines that I've seen in a while. This is telling me that something could be wrong. They sh there shouldn't be this many and it shouldn't be this dense on an avatar. So my avatar might be a little bit too big, but let's go ahead and simulate anyway and adjust the fit. Just pull it, pull the shirt up. So here we can see for 20 particle distance, it's draping really well. It's a little blocky, but it's, I'm getting more wrinkles than I normally would with a 20 particle distance garment. This is already telling me my avatar might be too big. I can already see the mesh is really dense, so I'm going to go ahead and just go pretend I can't see it. I can see here on the shoulder, it's laying really well. In fact, it's laying closer than I would expect it to. Just remember that this is the distance between the cloth and the avatar with their collision thicknesses combined. It's 5.5 millimeters. So, you know, this looks great, but it's far too close the scale wise. To, than it should look. As well as pulling up my wrinkles, they are still pretty blocky, all things considered. When I want to complete this garment and bring it down to, let's just say 10 particle distance, it will start to slow down the simulation just because it's such a large amount of material. Simulating again. And this is just 10 particle distance. The simulation, as you can see here, is quite slow. And the reason that is, is because there's a lot of fabric in the workspace that wouldn't normally be there because the avatar is so large. For a t-shirt of this design, it shouldn't be running this slow at 10 particle distance. But the reason is, let's turn on the mesh in the 3D window. This is very, very dense mesh compared to the garment. This looks five particle distance at this point, but it's not. So let's go down to five particle distance. and see how dense that is. Let's go ahead and simulate. And as you can see, the program has slowed down quite considerably because there's larger than a house sized amount of fabric here. Because again, Marvelous Designer works in human scale and we're currently draping a giant here. So I'm going to turn off simulation and zoom back out. And we can see it looks great. There's a lot of wrinkles here, but this is indicating to me that my avatar is too large for my workspace. And that is it for now for the tips and tricks to large avatar. Make sure to subscribe for more updates on our software and check out our tutorial videos and other helpful troubleshooting tips.